Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV where wisdom meets reality. Uh, at the Socrato TV to those who are new, we analyze issues in our general society uh, by trying to look at the third eye uh, perspective of what is affecting our society and also offer possible solutions. So today we are looking at a uh, issue uh, which is actually under investigation as you are analyzing this video uh, where some people have been numbed by the DCI that is uh, the department which is responsible of investigation of criminal activities in the Republic of Kenya and uh, these people have been caught or arrested for getting involved in uh, a fraud uh, ordeal uh, totaling to up to 439 uh, USD that is uh, in the currency of the United States dollar trillion 439 uh, US dollars trillions as you can see on your screen uh, that is a very huge amount it is about 15 times uh, the GDP of the United States of America so meaning uh, that these people are if the, the uh, their program in quotes uh, had gone through or it was successful they, have, they would have been 15 times rich uh, than the United States of America uh, so uh, today's issue I will not we will try to look at why uh, this happened and what it means uh, to our society in general especially uh, the Kenyan society so if you are new to our channel please feel free uh, to subscribe so that we can continue increasing uh, the number of subscribers and making our family bigger and bigger so that we can continue uh, producing more content if you have already subscribed please keep on uh, watching so that uh, you can also share your insight about what we discuss at our very great channel so back to our topic of discussion uh, I think uh, the amount uh, the, the, the amount that these people were involved in uh, the scandal that is the Mount Lander scandal is so huge uh, that the post from this year looked like comedy and uh, it, 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 it can be interpreted that they had actually exaggerated the amount maybe to capture the attention of the people uh, that is how other people could interpret but uh, taking the, the fact that this is a, a government department and it, it, it may not get any value or it, it, it could not see the necessity of lying to people uh, we are looking at this figure as the facts and assuming that indeed these people were actually involved uh, in uh, that scandal of 439 uh, United States dollar trillion that is 439 uh, trillions in United States currency so uh, I, I looked at this uh, issue uh, from the perspective of what is happening in the Republic of Kenya you know in any given society uh, there are actually uh, people who are rich uh, there are actually people who are middle class and uh, then poor uh, the people who are poor and in any society where uh, either people are uh, most people are rich or most people are poor uh, it is likely that the people will exist in peace that is for example if uh, uh, the whole country 
90% of people are poor, uh, then trust, trust among the people uh, is high because no, there is no person who is suspecting uh, the other person to take from them. And if 90% of the people are rich, uh, then it is also safe to say that these people, are, they are both contented, so nobody is suspecting the other one. But in a society where uh, the inequality is steep such that uh, people who are uh, people who are rich are too rich and people who are poor are too poor. Uh, it, it, there is usually a society whereby each person is suspecting another person whereby the rich are living in fear. They are just suspecting that they the items will be taken. So that is referred to as a low trust. You can call it a low trust society. And in such society, criminal activities uh, usually happen uh, in a very, very large amount. Whereby uh, now these people who do not have the enough resources go to try and steal uh, from the people with a lot of resources to bring about balancing that is uh, the layman understanding of or laying ground of what i want to explain on what could have led to uh, to this uh, criminal uh, this criminal activity that happened in kenya now in, in the country kenya at the moment people are living during very tough economic times and if you are living in very tough economic times it means that people will try their best within uh, within their capability to try and uh, ensure that they survive uh, more so if there are people who reason uh, very fast or people who, who we can refer that people who are smart uh, they can use any means necessary to ensure uh, or to make sure that they are able to get uh, the resources now if these people are are uh, uh, i don't know which term i will use i don't i want to sound um, sound rude okay we can refer to them that people who are dumb will take part in violent activities to get the resources by force that is where we can get robbery whatever such things but if they are smart, they will take part in fraudulent activities which do not directly involve harming another person directly. That is, they will not inflict physical pain to you, uh, which we can call it white collar crim criminal activities, like the one uh, that these people who have who have been involved in the the money laundering activities uh, have been who are who have now been arrested by the DCI took part in so to me to for, from my understanding is that this is revealing a very very deep problem in our country Kenya and it should not be taken lightly just uh, from a face value of one or two people uh, who have conducted uh, such a who or who have orchestrated a criminal activity involving money it paints a bigger picture whereby there are other small individuals within the society or other people of the same kind who are also being who are taking part uh, in other criminal activity which could not uh, or may not uh, be captured by by our investigation uh, department like uh, the cid this is a picture to show that even in places like in villages in uh, slums wherever there are other uh, criminal activities involving stealing small things which are increasing every day and it is high time uh, that the leadership of the republic of kenya uh, start working uh, on ensuring 
uh, that they make the environment yeah, that is the economic environment viable for each and every person uh, before this gets out of hand i think that uh, things like increasing tax uh, not ensuring uh, ensuring that there is a conducive en environment for people to work that is by reducing tax uh, ensuring that people who are educated are able to get uh, something to do are among the things that the government and the republic of kenya uh, need to do i think i had a lot to share about uh, the issue uh, but for the time and uh, the length which I had uh, thought of uh, talking today I will leave it there uh, I would also like to hear from you what do you think about uh, the scandal that happened in Kenya what are your thoughts do you think uh, it is because the, those two people are just uh, thieves or is it, is, does it show anything about the what is happening in our republic of kenya thank you so much for watching us until we meet again bye bye